What's up everybody today? I'm here with the review on Stupid Fast by Geoff Herbach. Real quick before I start the video, I'd just like to say please make sure to subscribe to my channel and drop a like because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. My goal is to get to 600 subscribers by the end of August, which is around 85 more subscribers in about two months. And I think that if big YouTubers like Mr. Beast can get around 85 subscribers in probably five minutes, I think that we can definitely do it in two months. So do me a favor, please subscribe if you have not already. If you have, please tell families and friends about my videos. Thank you and let's get on with the review. <laughs> So Stupid Fast by Geoff Herbach is a realistic fiction book. It's about a kid named Felton, who he's always sort of been out of the loop. He was he said he used to be short, small, he always got bullied, and he always had one or two friends. Until he hits puberty and something happens and he just shoots up and he becomes 6'1", like 160, and he is super fast now. Like, I'm talking, he is faster than some of the seniors who run track and have broken state records. Felton's only friend, Gus, moves down to Argentina just for the summer. So Felton doesn't really have any friends there. He doesn't have many options. He ends up having to do Gus's paper route and deliver newspapers every day for some extra money. And he does end up starting going and playing football and going to the weight room with all the other football guys. And he starts becoming good friends with a lot of them. He also meets this girl who is now renting out Gus's house. And her name is Aaliyah. And she is amazing at piano. And Felton ends up having a crush on her, she ends up liking him, they get into a relationship, but while all this is going on, and while Felton feels like his life is finally becoming normal, somewhat even perfect, his mom is really going through a lot of hard stuff, and Felton doesn't really understand what. His dad committed suicide when he was five, so his dad's not around. His younger brother and him are constantly fighting, and Felton's seemingly perfect life is just slowly unraveling, and he just needs to do something about it. So I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a little bit to get into this book. I, pro I was like sort of invested within the first 70, 80 pages, and there was many times where I felt like maybe I should put the book down, but I don't know, something in me just wanted me to keep reading it, and then I kept re reading, and when I got to around page 80, from 80 to the end of the book, I just, I couldn't put it down. I just read the whole thing right there. And trust me, this book it is so, so good. The themes of family and self-care and psychological needs are so prevalent during this book. And there are so many things that Felton goes through and the author does such a good job of investing you in this character because one, it's really funny. So. Felton and his brother are always arguing, and when I see this, I really felt like, whoa, I felt like for a second that I was Felton and I was having problems with my sibling. Then when I put the book down, I realized, no, wait, that's not me, and I realized just how lucky I am that I don't have problems with my siblings or that I don't go through the stuff that Felton had to go through in this book. And you really learn a lot about Felton as the book progresses. You learn about his family, and the book does get to a point where it's part mystery, it definitely keeps a sports theme throughout the whole book, which I really love because I love sports and I, I especially love sports books. And I just think that in general, this book did a really, really good job of bringing all of its themes that it needed to, as well as trying to resolve this character's problems in a really realistic way and not make it like your typical fiction book. Sometimes how everything just sort of gets solved when it's unrealistic. I would easily give this book a rating 10 out of 10. And honestly, if I could, I would maybe give it an 11. I'm gonna be honest, this book is probably one of my top three favorite books now, and I couldn't believe that after I read it, how good it was. But this book, there's something special about it that I just, I enjoyed it a lot. And it, it got a ton of awards when it came out in 2011. And thankfully, it is a series. So books two and three are there, and I'm part, I'm like halfway through book two when I'm recording this. So I think that I'll probably read book two and make a review on that as well. But Stupid Fast, I really think that you guys should read this. Quick little disclaimer, this book is definitely a little more geared towards the, I'd probably say eighth grade and higher audience because there is a decent amount of language in it and some mature themes, but not too much. But I think pretty much anybody who's like 
13 or 14 and older could read this book easily and I think that you will really enjoy it. And that's all I've got for today. I do have one thing that I'd like to plug real quick. I've started a new channel which is a sports highlights channel. I feel like this book might be appropriate to address that I channel in. So it's called RJ Highlights and I'll leave a link to it down below in the description and I just, I like editing so I've been posting some sports highlights on the side so check that channel out, please subscribe to that and I'm gonna do my best to keep putting out high quality uh, sports highlights on that channel and I really hope that it gets to a point where it is able to have just as many subscribers I ha as I do on this channel right now. That's all for today, again please make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one.